Good morning, Bacon Academy. Today is November 25th. I'm Brianna Alessio. And I'm Emily Gagnon. Coming up on today's top stories, Bacon Bobcats will be playing Ram. Yukon broke its losing streak, a gas station clerk steals a lottery ticket, and an Indian couple murders their daughter. In Bacon News, the Bacon Academy Library Media Center is hosting a book fair at Barnes & Noble in Glastonbury on December 8th from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. The library will earn a percentage of the profits made at the book sale to purchase new library books. The Colchester Youth Services are sponsoring a tour of Capital Community College's nursing program on Friday, December 6th. Students will leave Bacon at 1.15 p.m. and return to the Town Hall at 4.45. On Thanksgiving, the Bacon Academy Bobcats will be playing Ram. Let's hope they can get a win for us. Parents can pre-order their senior parent ad by completing a form found on the digital backpack and mailing it to, into Bacon Academy ATTN yearbook. In state news, former Stonington Board of Education Chairwoman Gail McDonald has resigned from the board just three weeks after becoming the highest vote-getter in the school. Board election in a week after being replaced as chairman by fellow Democrat Frank Tedisco. Shyler Davis of New London and Kiana Carter will join the USA Jump Rope team for the 87th annual Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. It's an opportunity of a lifetime, said Carter. The Yukon Huskies defeated Temple on Saturday night, 28-21, at Lincoln Financial Field. The Huskies were 0-9 going into the game, and the win snapped a 10-game losing streak. In national news, a preliminary nuclear deal between Iran and six world powers, including the U.S., is predicted to spark an oil price decline. This deal will make it easier for Iran to sell oil under the sanctions, which would increase supply on the world market. In New York, a gas station clerk swept a $1,000 lottery ticket, telling the owner of the ticket it was not a winner. He then tried to cash in the ticket, but was caught and is now being charged with grand larceny. A woman left an Oakland Raiders football game and leaped from the third deck of the stadium in Northern California. She was severely injured, and a man who attempted to catch her was also injured. She went in the hospital in critical condition, but the man was in stable condition. Now for some world news. An Indian couple has been con convicted of murdering their 14-year-old daughter and their domestic servant. The daughter's body was found with her throat slit and, her f and fatal injuries to her head. The servant's bludgeoned body was found a day later. In Indonesia, officials have been alerted of an active volcano which has reached the highest activity level, signaling it will erupt soon. More than 15,000 villagers have been moved to temporary shelters to avoid disaster. Residents are being warned to stay at least three miles away from the crater. Marina Kotobela, a neo-Nazi, won a Slovakian election. He won 55.7% of the vote against the opposing Democrat. Well, that's all for today. I'm Brianna Alessio. And I'm Emily Gagnon. Join us again tomorrow for the most reliable and up-to-date news. And remember that you can watch us online at youtube.com backslash BA Student News or follow us on Twitter. Thank you for watching the Bacon Academy Student News.